John and John. My channel is uh, J O J O N Joe John. I ain't gonna talk long, but I want to say something about the Sonia Masha case again. You know when she called them out, expecting for some help, and they went there and knocked on the door, knocked on the door. Took a while to get out. She said she putting the clothes on. He was a little angry at that. And he talked to her for a while and he asked about her. She had a little mental stuff going on. And uh, then I don't know how he got up in the house. He had propped the screen over. I don't know if she invited him in or, or what, but he had no business in the house. And then after he got in the house saying, uh, you are, uh, uh, let me see your ID. She's having that Bible. He handed her a Bible and he was talking to her. And she couldn't find her ID. And uh, it told her to go cut the that water, boiling water, cut it off. She hadn't thought about it. It hadn't ended in her mind. She hadn't went towards the water as to take it to use it on them. They sent her to the water. Y'all better, better open your eyes. They sent her to that water. When you send somebody to cut a pot off, you don't, you don't even think, you don't even worry about them hurting you. It was not in no danger. Look how far they were apart. And she didn't have it lunged back. And you got that, you got that water and water. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I shoot you in the ass in faith. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You draw his gun. And she slid down. You didn't see no pot on the floor. He kept saying, drop the pot, drop the pot, drop the pot. You didn't see no pot. You didn't see it on her hand in the pot. Drop the pot, drop the pot. Why do you keep saying that? And then step around and we can get a good, clear shot. And did exactly what he said. Shot her in the head. And you can't justify that no kind of way. No wonder a uh, black officer, a little woman she was talking about, he split second. He had way more than a split second. And the one that with him ain't no good because I would have did that I said, Look, man, put that, put that gun down. I said, man, drop the gun. Don't do that. This woman ain't got no get, ain't got no pot in her hand. Drop it. But no, he run right along with him. And the old, and old, and old sheriff that hired her didn't, didn't do a thoroughly background check. You do a thoroughly background check. You do know who you are hiring. Check out this interview. He over people alive. He got the, he, he he got that gun in his hand. He can end people's life. You need he, you need to know who you are dealing with. But he ain't no good. Sheriff is no good. No Grayson ain't no good. And the young man with him, I think his name was Fowler. He ain't no good. He ain't trying to stop nothing. But he gonna run that to the car and the hand all shaking and stuff, and go and get get some. Uh, you know, first day he's just shaking, <laughs> just shaking. He know that fall and know that he he was wrong. He know he should have helped. He should have tried to desecrate that. But you know what? You can make all kind of excuses you want. There's no excuse for what happened. Now, people, how many people think I want to call the law enforcement now? They ain't gonna want to call them. Come in their house, jumping on you, talking to you like you, and you asking for help. Well, let me tell y'all something. It's a wonderful. Police officers out there. Here's some great ones out there. Here's somebody that gonna do their job regardless of what. Here's somebody that would have stopped him. He would have stopped him. No, you're not gonna do this. Don't think, don't hold them, don't hold every uh, law enforcement officer accountable for that. Because some of them would have stopped it. Some of them would not allow that. It wouldn't happen. But do you know what? Yeah, I, I depend on law enforcement officers, the good ones. I depend on them. Because you didn't have no officer, it'd be showing up bad. But you got some great, maybe that is so so many that want to act and, 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 and take law in their own hand, them officer. And, and guess what? The few that want to do right, they're going to do right. Don't hold them accountable. Just the one that's, when they get their gun on their side, they think, you know, they, 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 they can tell you, talk to you, do you any kind of way, abuse you, shoot you, tase you. Baton, you on the head, beat you with that baton. Well, I, 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 they got, they figured that they got the everything behind them. The law is behind them, but the law is not behind you when you do wrong. The law will bring you down if you do wrong, and they get, you know, substantial evidence to bring you down. They will. And for all the officers out there, I salute you, the one that's doing right. Because I'm gonna tell you something. I know that's got to be a pretty tough job. But some of them, you're doing it great. You're doing it well. Because you're doing it right. All right. As like I said, this is Joe John, J O J O N. Subscribe to my channel. All right. Bye for now. But we'll talk later.